Alex, thank you. The news that 86% of our schools here in Greater Manchester contain deadly asbestos, which causes cancer, is quite worrying, isn't it, Ian? I mean, what's your reaction? Well, I'm reassured in as much as we've had, a, we've had an asbestos survey, so we know that although there is asbestos in the school, it's safe, because asbestos which is covered, which is not exposed to the air, and which people aren't touching, doesn't present a risk. But of course, when you first think about this thing, it is an anxiety. Um, so we had it checked out here, and we were reassured um, that there wouldn't be a problem here. Now, in 18 months' time, when they pull this school down, they will bring in specialist teams who will have to strip all the asbestos out um, and make sure that none of us is anywhere near it so there'll be no risk to the students or the staff. You say that's 18 months away. Have parents expressed any worry at all? No, I don't think parents are aware. Um, but they also, I think, trust the school um, that if there was something which is potentially a danger, we would take action. Now, 86% of schools, that's most of the schools in Greater Manchester, as a head, what sort of position has that put you in? Well, straight away, as a head, you're responsible for anything that happens on the school's premises. So if a child is in any way harmed, it comes down to me, and I'd be the one that would face charges. So you, you bear that in the back of your mind, but it's common sense approach. Make sure things are safe. Get experts in. They tell you what you have to do, what you don't have to do, and I'm always happy with that. Absolutely. Good advice there. Well, join us at five o'clock when campaigners will be advising parents what to do if they feel that their child's school is at risk. Back to the studio.